Welcome to Electron Online and now let's talk about the mean. When you hear the word the mean or the term the mean, it really means the average value, just another word for average. So the average means, well, what you do is you add up all the numbers and you divide by the total number of numbers and you get the average. Well, let me explain what that means. So let's say we toss two dice ten times. We're going to get ten values for those ten tosses and let's say that the values are 4, 8, 7, 12, 7, 2, 5, 8, 9, and 7. So the random variable x will take on these 10 different values on those 10 tosses. So what is the average value for x? What is the mean? And the way we write that is we write the variable x with a little bar on top of it. That means the average. And the mathematical definition of how to calculate that is you're going to sum up, this means summing, all the x's, all 10 of the x's, divided by the total number of them that you have. So you add up all the values divided by the total number, which is 10. And when you do that, you get the following number. So you get, uh, that's 12, 19, 31, 38, 40, 45. That's 53, 62, 69 divided by 10. And so the average would be 6.9. The average value doesn't have to be an integer. It could be any number out to any number of decimal places required. But in this case, 6.9 is the average value of all the tosses. So in another way of looking at it, for example, this expression, because this confuses a lot of people, the i is just simply a subscript. So for example, x sub 4 is equal to the fourth item. So this would be x sub 1, this is x sub 2, this is x sub 3, this is x sub 4. So x sub 4 would be equal to 12 in this case. So x sub 1 is 4, x sub 2 is this, x sub 3 is 7, x sub 4 is 12. And so when we sum them all up, we sum them from 1 to the total number that we have. In this case, n is going to be equal to 10 because there's 10 tosses. So that means we're going to add up 10 numbers starting with the first one all the way to the last one, the last one being number 10. So this kind of helps you understand what this means. It's simply adding up all the values that we got divided by the total number of tosses and that gives us the average value per toss which in this case is 6.9. So what's the average value that you would expect if you did it a thousand times or a million times? Well, the most prominent number that will appear would be in the number 7. Since there's an even distribution on both sides, uh, probability distribution, you'd expect the number to be 7 if you toss it enough times, but if you only toss it 10 times or less, the probability that you get something other than 7 and quite a bit different from 7, of course, becomes larger. But that's what we mean by the mean or the average. You simply add up all the numbers and divide it by the total numbers you have, and that gives you the average value or the mean. And that's how we do that.